A very good evening to you all and welcome to the Powerless Black Excellence Gala, sponsored by JP Morgan alongside EY Linklaters and the Executive Leadership Council. The Powerless has grown beyond our imagination to become the definitive list of black British people in the UK who hold positions of influence, power, and inspire future generations. This year, we are proud to present the inaugural EY Cornerstone Award to the ACLT. Blood stem cell organization. All lives matter. Every lives matter. But I'm, ta I'm talking to the majority in this room. Our lives matter. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to announce the winner of the 2019 Powerless Community Award, Colleen Amos, CEO of the Amos Bursary. I would like to ask everyone in this room to join with the students as they try to ensure that the next generation of young men like themselves have the opportunity that the Amos Bursary has given to them and for, the young, for them as young men going forward in their journey. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the Powerless International Award goes to founding director of the Smithsonian Museum of African American History and Culture, Dr. Lonnie Bunch. There is nothing more dangerous than giving a historian a microphone and a captive audience. <laughs> this museum that has taken 13 years of my life is more than a museum. It's a place that allows us, as the world, to better know who we are. When I think about the four decades that have passed since this extraordinary individual we're about to honor tonight, first appeared in our homes, I marvel at how much the world has changed and yet also how much it has remained the same. Our personality tonight is one of those national role models who sets an example, changes perceptions and gives hope to people and has been doing so for almost 40 years. Our personality started her career at a time when there were no role models for what she was doing. So much of what we take for granted in 2018, we owe in large part to our personality for having made possible. Now the word icon is overused, but the winner of this award is nothing if not iconic. She quite literally changed the face of British television. Please stand and raise your glasses to the incomparable Maura Stewart. And I am so honored to stand alongside you. And may I say what a privilege it's been to witness your rise and rise in so many arenas, be it in business and politics, the arts and sciences, anywhere else. Yes, you are the best. And that's a simple fact.
this year's Powerless Number One is founder and chair of Tristan Capital Partners at, at the UK's largest black-run private company, Mr. Rick Lewis. I, I'm truly honoured to be Powerless Number One this year, and uh, I'm not sure if I deserve that recognition more than others, and I may remain unsure of that for a long time, but there are three things that I'm quite sure of. The first is this work here, this room, is important. The work we're doing, building a community, voice, belief, numbers, the form of ideas of what's possible and how to do it, it takes a village, and it will continue to take a village in our collective commitment a committed, big, well-capitalized, energetic village to keep moving forward to greaterness for ourselves and for the others amongst us and for the people we find along the way. We are that village. So in closing, I want to say thank you again. I'm truly honored to be selected by Powerless Number One. It feels remarkable to be among you, celebrated by you, and respected by you. It does feel a little bit like a Lifetime Achievement Award, though. But I want to warn you, or promise you, I'm not done. We cannot finish tonight without a few words from the person whose initial vision for what has become the power list and everything connected with it is the reason we're all here tonight. Please give a really warm welcome to Powerful Media CEO and founder, Mr. Michael Iboda. Let me begin by saying thank you to everyone who's made this evening possible. In, in what seems an age ago now, when I used to run a newspaper group, um, we made a decision that we'd look, we would change the look and feel of our, our newspapers by trying to ensure that the balance of news was tilted more towards the positive than the negative. The realisation of this was actually what sparked the idea for the powerless. Positivity, where the opposite had been the norm, how inspirational could that be? That was 13 years ago, and look where we are today. Uh, when I look at this room and some of the people in it, I'm proud. I'm proud of the fact that this room of achievers, trailblazers, leaders, visionaries, proves that there is no dearth of talent within Britain's African and African Caribbean communities. Music